Hi everyone, my name is Liu Weihong with number matrix 2x7 4x6. In this video, I will present how I solve my question 1 in my individual assignment calculus 1. The question that I get is discuss and sketch the following function fx equals to cotangent x, where the x is larger equal to 0 and smaller equals to 2 pi. Before sketching the graph, we need to find the x intercept, y intercept, open in the world where the function is decreasing and increasing, x coordinate of the inflection point, particular asymptote, open in the world where the function is concave up and concave down, and uh, finally is the local minimum and maximum. First of all, we need to find the x intercept with set fx equal to 0. So there will be cotangent x equals to 0 and rewrite as cos x over sin x equal to 0. To determine the x intercept, let cos x equals to 0. Since cos x equal to 0, so the x will equal to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So the x in the set of the function is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. To get the y intercept, x will be replaced by 0 and the function will become cotangent 0. And cotangent 0 is undefined, so the function has no y intercept. Next, to determine the x coordinate of the inflection point, we need to find the second derivative of the function. So we need to differentiate the function two times. The first derivative is equal to negative cosecant square x, and the second derivative is equal to 2 cos x over sine cube x. To determine the inflection point, set second derivative equals to 0, which is 2 cos x over sine cube x equals to 0. Let 2 cos x equals to 0 and divide both sides by 2 equals to cos x equals to 0. Since cos x equals to 0, so x equals to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So the inflection point of the function is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. To determine the vertical symptom, set cotangent x equal to 0 and rewrite as cos x over sin x equal to 0. Since the denominator is sin x equals to 0, so the x equals to 0, pi and 2 pi. So the vertical center of the function is x equal to 0, x equal to pi, and x equals to 2 pi. Based on the theorem, the function is increasing when the first derivative is positive, and the function is decreasing when the first derivative is negative. To determine the function is increasing or decreasing, we need to check a bunch of intervals. The interval from 0 to pi over 2, pi over 2 to pi, pi to 3 pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. To determine the interval, I choose one point in each interval and substitute in the first derivative and get the answer is negative 2, which is negative value. So the function cotangent x is decreasing from 0 to 2 pi. Based on the theorem, when the second derivative is positive, the function is concave up. And when the second derivative is negative, the function is concave down. To determine the function is concave up or concave down, I use the same solution which is use a point in each interval but substitute in the second derivative. On the first and third interval, the second derivative is equal to 4 which is positive number. So the function is concave up from 0 to pi over 2 and pi to 3 pi over 2. On the second and fourth interval, the second derivative is equal to negative 4 which is negative number. So the function is concave down from pi over 2 to pi and 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. To determine the local minimum and maximum, set first derivative equals to 0, which is negative cosecant square x equals to 0. Since there are no value of x that makes first derivative equals to 0, so there are no local extreme for the function cotangent x. Last, this is the graph that I sketched. This is the end of the video. Thank you.